Greetings everyone, here's Lodrick and this is a game won the Pacific at my edition. This is my play by email match against Kilroy. This is scenario 1, no modification, standard, one day turns it up. Now, finally, after many days, wow, fall back to the Japanese control. Might not even have to send any forces there, simply by the presence of nearby of my forces. So. Something like this. Um, Kilroy was uh, unloading a little troops on Saipan. I'm not so sure what was this really. One of my other subs uh, finding here AK. And uh, sink it. But allies have unlimited supply of this AK stuff. Now I can also get rid of this AP. So there's still troops on board, so Killer was not able to unload everything overnight. And now it's done. So no more additional forces landing on Saipan. But Saipan is completely destroyed, my forces are broken and uh, I was not able to reinforce it. Uh, so I'm not so sure if Killroy won't really push for Saipan, he can do it. The question is still, and next, I mean, to take this kind of islands is maybe okay and give us a morale boost, but to maintain this all and, yeah, I don't know. I always keep uh, normally a flexible uh, flexible defense strategy. Uh, I would never really try to say this is a... Uh, I must hold this forever and with everything. Uh, if Kilroy won't take this kind of islands like Marcos Island, Saipan, Wake, Iwo Jima, then he can do it. It's... Uh, I can give them up uh, temporarily. So this is my carriers, they coming now yeah, close to Colombo and I have here some scouting. And of course over Colombo there is many enemy cap fighters, but uh, there is simply no way. So I will lose here now some of my Kate bombers scouting, searching for enemy ships. But it looks like there is really only one convoy maybe incoming. And some ships in port of Colombo. And yeah, more of my ships, uh, airplanes getting killed. The American subs still trying to find my retreating first carrier fleet, but so far I was lucky and always avoided. So no navy engagement directly, so we enter the air war in China. I still uh, soften up here the Chinese. Help my ground forces to achieve a more easy victory. One more month and I can also maybe start slowly uh, building up uh, my Helen factories for the K-49 medium bombers then I will maybe first uh, replace uh, the K-30 light bombers then later on maybe also the K-48 uh, fast bombers they all have uh, not enough really bomb load K-21 is still okay, they have the range, they have bomb load they are only missing ammo protection and they're slow. Uh, and here is, I think, uh, yeah, this is uh, my mistake. Uh, I, by mistake, I, I give my zero escort fighters a range of zero. So uh, now my bombers are without escort because the escorts have no range. And of course now all my bombers getting killed, that was a big mistake and blunder. So only four torpedo bombers can uh, attack Ridley Colombo and doing nothing. 
they all get killed. That is, of course, a kind of mistake you better not do too often. Better never. But it can happen. He has only one hurrican uh, making protection and can kill still three of my bombers. So because uh, Kate is simply, a, I mean, all kind of torpedo bombers are slow. At least I can uh, think here this one cargo ship. But nothing too special. And now it's Kilroy's uh, counter strike. Uh, because I was also more or less normally, I, I, I tried to lure out Kilroy's uh, British forces here. And uh, yeah. I can keep it maybe running here a little, but uh, this will need a long time. And uh, yeah, the idea was more or less that uh, yeah. I want to attack. Of course this fails. But I also want to maybe try to get the British fighters in the open sea. If I kill them now over my carriers, then the pilots are lost. And uh, then in the future, Kilroy have maybe less pilots. Because these are British pilots, and I think the replacement rate for British pilots is not so great compared to Americans. Good. So we can see here uh, many, many... Mm, most important is that this Fulmar... I don't know, it's a light bomber. They are not able to really attack my fleet. My zeros keeping... Uh, Keeps the airs clean, no penetration. Of the second attack had not even more any cover forces, so this full are all getting destroyed. Now some torpedo bombers, and uh, they all have, for some reason, they have maybe not a good coordination. And even if they had coordination, I had uh, too many zeros here. I can kill here the swordfish. So at the end, uh, we kill each other. I lost a lot of my torpedo bombers and uh, Kilroy losing here a lot of his strike forces. The Blenheim's also coming, getting all killed. Now is the second attack. This cover. Uh, but I still have the numbers. But. At least these are the first four strike aircraft attacking me. Going for the Suyu, but missing. Coming out of 10,000 feet is of course not so easy. So there are many ships in port, but there are also many cap fighters and I have no escorts. So I can only hope that there are not more airstrikes or more of my bombers going out. And I think uh, I turn around my carriers and I split up the rest of the, the damaged destroyers and, and I bombard uh, Marcus Island again to wipe out this enemy airbase, I think, mainly for Yeah, but again, uh, it's really hard for these Navy bombers to create damage on air bases or ports. Not really so successful. And the Vincent's trying to yeah, slow down my advance in New Zealand. Not really much damage. So afternoon and the rest of the British forces trying to attack again. This is big airstrike. And I'm losing also some zeros. But again, the enemy is not able to attack me. And now this is the second slaughter. Uh, now my strike forces without zero cover again. Uh, at least not so terrible like in the morning. Still, I lost a lot of uh, dive bombers.
and I'm not so sure but maybe some of my torpedo bombers uh, consumed all the torpedoes in the morning without really hitting something because it gets all killed here's one AK burning now okay at least something But the Newcastle can avoid all hits. The tanker get a hit and it's loaded with fuel, so that ship is now burning and will normally sink. So one cargo ship and the tanker. Not really too much and losing a lot of dive bombers. At least dive bombers are the most cheapest, the most easy pilots to train. I mean, you don't pay for them, so they are only easy to train, so less time consuming. Okay, but still, it was a. It was not a really good day for both sides for the airstrikes. Both getting too crippled. So the tanker is very likely going down now. And my subs at Wake are getting also more and more trouble. Again, the hit. And I only clean up here the last bases north of Darwin. There's nothing really left. So, after my Air Force already slaughter all of these Chinese forces, kick them out of the hex. Remember that if the enemy unit is inside a hex with industry or resources, then your industry and I think also resources will not produce. So it is like you, you block this hex. There is no industry output. So I must kick him out or I will lose here Wenshao industry output. So this is the same. Kick the Chinese back. And I make a bombardment here, so there is some really only a small detachment uh, so far on Saipan. But I also have not much. So if Kilroy will bring more, then this will be trouble. The Thai units are also walking north, kicking the Chinese, uh, the British, and they both surrender. In this case, I think they're both Burma troops, not really British troops. Uh. So there was some air action, but uh, my strike was a little handicapped. But at least my cap fighters did what they had to do. So a part of my operation was successful, the other part was uh, messed up. Uh, so let's check uh, in. Air war was at the end. We both lost a lot, 88 to 64, and uh, yeah. If I see here my losses and uh, 30 torpedo bombers and 19 dive bombers. Uh, of course I could w never save them all but normally with zero escort I maybe have here 10 to 10 not 30 to 20. The 10 zeros would be maybe 15. Anyway it's uh, high losses on my strike forces. Yeah. I can only say that uh, the losses for Kira are even higher. Blenheim's a lot. Fulmer is completely destroyed. These are all strike aircraft. So Kilroy not lost really many fighters, but I also lost not uh, too many zeros. Uh, still, maybe more than... Uh, I think Kilroy lost more or less the same amount. So we both lost the ability to strike. Uh, at least nothing really hits my carriers and I was able to sink 3-4 ships. Nothing really too important. So the blockade or the, the last the strike on Yenan will ca happen soon, two, three days more, then I cross the river, and then I go for Yenan. Uh, These uh, units are still here somewhere in nowhere. Nothing else happened in central China. 
the Thai forces uh, achieve the next victory and then I can move north. Here in Rangoon, I am more or less out of options. I can only try to take the north and uh, wait for reinforcements. I have nothing really. I can't ship more. I need to wait for the Thai forces. My, I think these are my tanks. I drive source, but I also follow up with the rest of my uh, units. More or less, I use all of my forces to, yeah, uh, yeah, try to catch up with these guys because I'm not so sure if two tanks units can really finish this all. Uh, they are both so so. Not so weak, but also better than recon, but uh, not, not really a full tank division or something like this. At the same time here at Perth, I have um, some submarines I've driving up and down. I think later I will split them more up. And I have here also a patrol ship, but so far I detect here no shipping. Uh, New Caledonian, Auckland. I'm still waiting to close up. Uh, I need one, two, three, four days maybe to arrive in Hamilton and then I can go for Auckland. Uh, yeah. Then I will see how strong is the defense in Auckland. So no activity around Fiji or New Caledonian. Nothing around uh, the Gilbert Islands, Marshall Islands. Yeah, there are ships in wake and I know there's uh, maybe time to Go back. This one hit was not so strong. A little damage, but not too much. But I'm running out of torpedoes. Uh. Ah. Yeah. So this is my counter offense or counter strike against the Marcus Island. So I bring here some new. Uh, Navy Guard units, I think these are two... Three, yeah, three. 42nd, 44th and 48th Navy Guard units. They coming for Marcus Island. I, you, I think the maximum we can take is four, but I go normally for three, because I think one Navy Guard unit have roughly 1,700 guys. So I come here with 5,500 maybe. Five, yeah, around five thousand to five and a half thousand. Uh, because this is a a small island, you can only have a max stacking of six thousand. Everything over six thousand will slowly dying, and the consumer thing more supplies like this. So I would not go with four. Four would the maximum. Three, I think, still better. At the same time, Carol was lending his small amount of troops. Uh, but the base is still broken. I have no really supplies. Uh, I can only hope uh, this will stand a little longer. I normally won't take first Marcus Island that have uh, more scouting ability that I know what is the situation. Uh, because there are still a potential of six, seven battleships plus a dozen of cruisers and four carriers. And I... I don't have too much firepower here. I have here maybe more or less the same power of, um, aircraft capacity, but uh, yeah, I would normally play it a little more safe. So, yeah, let's see what the next two days will give and if I can take recapture Marks Island and uh, make sure that I have a better position in the Central Pacific in the future. Good. Thank you all. So maybe oh, I forgot. So here was uh, nothing really big. There was one car a cargo ship I sunk and some more here in Colombo. But uh, this uh, attack uh, really cost me a lot of strike aircraft. This air wing lost just 15 air-to-air -air Kate bombers. Eight killed, seven missing in action. So all of these pilots are lost and all of the airframes are lost. Uh... And uh, to only understand, this guy was on cap, that is okay. This guy was also on cap. This is a dive bomber completely getting destroyed. Uh, I cannot say how many now are getting destroyed, but uh, you can see nine killed pilots and three missing pilots, so 12 pilots lost. So 
at least the same amount of uh, airframes are missing. You can see these are five, so 13 airframes maybe getting destroyed. You. These are also cap fighters. I'm not more sure. Yeah. Uh, well, at least I really set it wrong up. I think I put them all on cap, but not on range. This is, of course, a mistake you cannot do. Yeah. And this Kate Bomber also getting uh, many lost pilots here. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.